Now, I know there are already videos out there making Minecraft with AI, but don't worry, I'm here to switch it up with not one, not two, but three AIs, including some of the newest models. I know, you must think I'm an absolute madman. Let's start with ChatGBT, and I have enabled thinking because that's what some of you were telling me to do last video. I hear you, I'm enabling thinking for every model, so don't worry. And this time, I've actually written out a prompt. I was getting roasted last video for my awful prompt skills, and this is the same prompt every AI is going to get. So let's just see what it thinks. Let's call it Voxel Sandbox Prototype. I like the sound of that because we need to be using Voxel. So the prompt actually includes things like crafting planks. All right, so it's done. Let's copy the code. Let's open up VS Code. And then I'm going to make an index HTML file. I do realize that I could have just gone here and used the canvas mode. I've been trying to make some games with this ChatGPT canvas mode. It just does not allow locking in with the cursor. And essentially that's because the issue isn't with the code. It's more that ChatGPT's canvas preview runs inside a sandbox iframe. Let's just open it up and is ChatGPT going to have no problems first time? And of course, classic, it, <laughs> I can't click to play. Nothing is happening. I'm in the Minecraft void. Let me just check the console, see what's going on. All right, so we've got our first little error to do with the pointer lock. Last video, I did get people saying that I shouldn't be screenshotting the console and I can just simply right click and, you know, copy the console. So of course, I'm going to listen to my feedback and right click and copy. <laughs> of course I'm not. I'm going to Windows key shift S. I'm going to screenshot that right there. I'm going to open up MS paint. I'm going to paste it right in there. Make it nice and wide like that. Very nice. And then I'm just going to screenshot a screenshot. Inception. I'm going to paste it in. Since I can't actually use the ChatGPT canvas, I've actually decided to switch over to cursor. Let's make sure we're on 5.1 and it's got thinking on. It's literally just live editing the cause of the error. It's just that easy. Oh, okay. We actually have something. Click to play. The cursor locks in. That's what I'm talking about. This actually doesn't look half bad. We've got dynamic clouds. That They actually look decent. I'm not even going to lie. These trees look pretty beautiful. Oh, moving forward goes backwards and we're also clipping through blocks w and s key seem to be inverted oh and there we go apparently i can break air oh wait, no i can break a block and i suppose it has no ray cast limit this actually looks decent and by the way this is the first it oh but this is the first iteration. So when you go under a tree, you teleport on top of it. Some weird collision thing going on there, but that's okay. We've actually got some mobs, like I said in the prompt. We've got like a little sheep and a little pig. And I think that's a cow. They are clipping through the terrain, but that's fine. They're actually moving. That's pretty cool. So let's see if we can break some wood and craft it into planks. I do love that. It's not exactly accurate to how long it takes in Minecraft, but that's okay. That can, of course, be adjusted. Remember, this is Minecraft 2.0. I'm pretty sure there was talks about having a sequel. Wow, this is actually promising. Actually, you know what? That inventory looks pretty clean. Z to craft. Let's have a look. And there you go. I've got now 20 planks. And then I can hit enter to make a pickaxe and then an axe, apparently. Pickaxe, okay. And an axe. The numbers aren't exactly correct, I suppose, with the amount of planks, but that's okay. It should be harder to mine this now that I've got Gags. And it is. I can actually craft him in. I can do what's in the title of the game. The only thing I don't have now is a sword. I'm going to need to hit some mobs with it or something like that. So let's just go ahead and tell it that. I've now said when I stand directly underneath the tree, it teleports me on top of it. Please fix this. Can you now implement the ability to craft a wooden sword? This should also be able to kill the mobs in five hits. Then they despawn. And then of course, the mobs seem to be clipping through the terrain. So if we go underneath the tree, it's actually fixed. That we don't teleport on top of it anymore. And now we've also got some updated controls. We can craft some sticks with X. Let's find a pig to test this out. One, two, three, four, five. And it worked. Mob defeated. You know what this game's missing? The Ender Dragon, because that's what Minecraft is all about. Add something similar to an Ender Dragon from Minecraft. It should be flying around the map, above the player, but not so high that I can't reach it. This dragon will also be killed using my wooden sword in 10 hits. Okay, there it is. The Ender Dragon. Oh my god, that looks beautiful. Look at the wings flapping like that. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to reach it. Now, obviously, if you're a pro gamer like me, this will be easy. Just watch how it's done. Oh, nine hits left, nine hits left. Let me just spam on him. Woo! and defeated. Obviously for a normal person that would have taken about five hours. We've actually got a game loop and this took, what, about five minutes? So now let's move on to Gemini 3 Pro, thinking of course. Let's then paste the prompt. Examining the core idea. Okay, I like it. It's open the canvas. Beautiful. It's called it Voxel Prototype. Let's click to start. Okay. Oh, the camera movement is tilting. I don't even know what's happening. All right, so let's mine the block. Oh, I kind of like that. I like the little loading thing it's got going on there. So we can't jump either. My character seems to be really small compared to the blocks. Minecraft Prototype. And we seem to be 
floating in midair. So hopefully the terrain actually appears. Oh, okay. So we've actually got some terrain. The mobs seem to be floating in the sky. That's normal, whatever. The textures actually aren't too bad. And also the inventory at the bottom, nice and square like Minecraft. So let's go ahead and get four of these. Z to craft it into planks. The clouds actually look nice and dynamic. We've got some fog. I do wish the terrain was bigger. Can you not implement the ability to craft a sword and an axe as well? Oh, okay. So Minecraft V2. So the pigs are actually grounded. Very, very nice. I'm not sure where the trees have gone. We've still got that beautiful fog. It doesn't seem to be generating anything procedurally. And I fell through the floor. But I swear I just saw some trees underneath. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. That's an interesting take on that. So let's just spam that. And now let's convert some of that to sticks. Press V for an axe. So the mobs should be able to take damage when I hit them using my wooden sword. This should take five hits to despawn them. Add something similar to an ender dragon from Minecraft. Now, of course, it makes no sense that it's in the overworld. Oh, we've got the ender dragon in the UI up there. We've got the health and it knows it's purple. Oh, and there's the ender dragon. <laughs> It's flying up and down just like in the actual Minecraft thing. Let's actually test out if we can kill the mobs. And it worked. And now let's move on to the actual boss. Oh, the health's gone down a little bit. This should take 10 hits, like I said. Oof. And to be honest, this also proves that you can just whip up something like this in like four tries. I'm sorry for interrupting this amazing video, but you might be thinking, these games don't look that good. Are you sure AI is good at generating games? To that, I say, this is what I was able to make after just 17 extra minutes of me giving it prompts and direction. A day and night cycle, weather cycle, game commands, and more. And remember, this is all web-based. Okay, so now lastly, let's try Claude extended thinking and let's see what it does here we go this looks promising okay it's not it's not locking in the cursor all right so let's switch the agent to sonnet 4.5 thinking of course we've run the map a little bit too quick for my liking this is like an actual speed run if it was taken literally <laughs> We do have mobs, they are floating. These are the trees, they don't have any leaves, but that could just be autumn trees, planks. The inventory system's a little bit messed up. The map definitely looks more lively, I like that. We're also not running at 100 miles per hour now. All right, so now I'm gonna tell it to update the inventory and I'm actually gonna give it the ender dragon thing already. Oh, look at that ender dragon right there. Okay, we got a wooden sword. It's definitely outside the boundary of the inventory slot there, but now let's just try and kill the ender dragon. All right, it is landing, here we go. <coughs> Oof, oof. Four health, come on, come on, easy. Dragon defeated. I don't know about you, but I feel like it's missing something. Can you name it? Villagers. So I'm literally just gonna type different types of Minecraft. Villagers, this image here seems pretty good. I'm not gonna give it all of these, obviously. I'm just gonna give it the planes. It's pretty much generated the planes biome. Let's grab that. Can you implement and populate the map with something similar to Minecraft villagers, including these different types? Oh, okay, it's actually done it. Look at these. I mean, the villagers are massive. It's got different types, just like I asked. It's implemented the classic nose, of course. It's got working limbs. That's actually really impressive. And it's populated the whole map with them. You know what? This is actually not a bad game.